फ्रेंड्स वेलकम आप सबका आज के सेशन में आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द टूडे सेशन विच इज ऑन करेंट अफेयर्स एंड फ्रेंड्स वी ऑल नो कि इंटरनेट में तो पूरा इंफॉर्मेशन इज फुल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन बट इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर दैट मेनी इंफॉर्मेशन क्या आप सारे इंफॉर्मेशन याद रख सकते हैं नो फ्रेंड्स सो वॉट यू नो इज द नीड टू नो इंफॉर्मेशन ओनली एंड आई हैव कम विद दैट Okay friends before we start the class today this is a brief introduction about me i am rajiv ranjan jha ex deputy commandant and now i am mentoring uh, students who are preparing for government job examinations so friends now we go to the today's session without wasting any time which is on current affairs ke upar hai and this is from the month of may so friends we move to our today's current affairs ओके okay, फ्रेंड्स so, आज स्टार्ट करते हैं जैसा कि मैंने आप सबको पहले ही बताया कि दिस विल बी द करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द मंथ ऑफ मे एंड मे 2023 वेरी मच वाइटल क्योंकि अभी जो आपका जो एग्जाम आ रहा है दैट इज एस एस सी सी जी एल एग्जाम इज देयर इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई देन अगस्त में सी एच एस एल है आफ्टर दैट देर विल बी एम टी एस एंड वन वेरी गुड न्यूज देर आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गुड न्यूज फ्रॉम एस एस सी एंड अदर गवर्नमेंट जॉब एग्जामिनेशन मेनली फ्रॉम एस एस सी इट इज कमिंग दैट एस एस सी सी एच एस एल फॉर्म विल बी आउट टूडे एंड यू कैन फिल इट विद इन द नेक्स्ट वन मंथ एंड द एग्जामिनेशन विल बी सब्सिक्वेंटली द मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर और अक्टूबर सो फ्रेंड्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फॉर द टाइम दिस इज द इनिशियटिव ऑफ आवर टीम which is the pariksha sarthi team they bring you all the only need to know information they scrutinize they are uh, bankers they are from uh, the uh, forces so they organ they uh, first scrutinize to all the news sub news ka scrutiny karte hain and they bring you all the only information which are vital for you so we go to the today's class this is a bi monthly magazine if you like this video then you can also purchase i will give you the, the link to purchase or you can study current affairs with my videos also and per magazine in the uh, month they have two magazine two month ek uh, month mein do magazines aate hain ek magazine ka cost is 20 rupees so friends what they cover what is being covered in this magazine beautiful things and all those things which are important jo ki kafi aate hain exams mein we have seen previously that the questions are coming from this uh, magazine and uh, they are covering national news international news appointments or demise suppose a important celebrity is uh, uh, unka death ho jata hai unfortunately that is being also asked in com different competitive examination so it is covered and books and important authors then sports very vital economy and banking news very much important for all the government job exam and especially for ibps po clerk and rrb so these are all this very important then there will be articles then free test taking and coaching also they provide you with uh, this uh, uh the free test taking uh, site is there you can find this in the magazine and so we move to the current affairs okay friends now we start with the national news okay so the first news which is coming is in how many district the prime minister national apprenticeship apprenticeship mela was organized in may 2023 so it was organized in 200 plus district okay so prime name of this uh, this uh, is prime minister national apprenticeship mela okay pm nam is the abbreviation and it was organized in more than 2000 200 districts of our country okay so this we move to the second news what you can do you can pause my video here you can write your so bullet points or you can, if you are interested you can purchase the magazine also otherwise you can write it from my video also which country has decided to train 1000 indian engineers for the bullet train project so this is the country which has uh, uh, is willing to train indian to logon ko training dene wale hai for 1 1000 engineers ko that the country is japan and for what they are get uh, going to get train is high speed rail mahsr corridor okay mumbai ahmedabad high speed rail corridor third g20 tourism meeting was organized from 22nd to 24th may at which place c g20 tourism meeting g20 uh, now we are heading 
as the organizing country is india so it is organized in many a places so but this tourism meet was organized in shrinagar okay friends and this is very important because after so much of turmoil itna jyada problems ke baad in shrinagar a meet is organized and it was organized very peacefully from 22nd to 24th may it was organized and it was very peacefully it was conducted the annual friday long great prayer festival monlam chenmo i may be pronouncing it not as the locals they just a pronunciation karte hain my my pronunciation will be a bit different but its monlam chenmo was recently celebrated in which place so the place is leh and ladakh okay again it is from the jammu and kashmir previously now india recently handed over 20 broad broad gauge or bg locomotives broad gauge locomotives to which country so see it's very important because india and neighbors are uh, very important portion so bangladesh this pledge was made during prime minister sheikh hasina's visit to india in 2019 so broad gauge ka 20 jo hai wo handover kis country ko kiya gaya so it is to the bangladesh now we move to the further national news rajiv gandhi international airport has been adjust the air airport with best on time performance globally it's a very big thing because why that japanese uh, airports which are very famous for their punctuality unko defeat karke rajiv gandhi international airport which is located in hyderabad has secured the first place okay now the rural development and the panchayati raj ministry launched the samarth campaign for promoting digital transaction see now we are going after this demonetization we are going to the digital transaction so in it was digital to promote digital transaction in 5000 gram panchayats so it was launched from which place it was launched from lucknow what is the name of the campaign that it can be asked like this the name of the campaign is samarth campaign and then which ministry has launched that can be also asked so the name of the ministry which launched is launched this scheme samarth campaign is rural development and panchayati raj ministry okay now this is coming from the parliament as we know the new parliament building has constructed been constructed very recently and inaugurated so a special coin of what denomination has been launched recently to commemorate the inauguration of new parliament so it was rupees 75 rupees ka coin okay a tribute to country celebrating 75 years of independence okay friends so this can be asked uh, as related to the parliament and it is a very recent development so what was the denomination of the coin the coin was 75 and what it was demarcating it was demarcating that 75 years of india's independence okay now we move to the next uh, important news iit madras has tied up with which country to set up center for water technology so it is uh, done with the tie up with the israel indo israel center of water technology is the name and it is launched at iit madras trip advisor and online leisure and travel site ranked which indian hotel very important because indian hotel is ranked worldwide okay so the uh, hotel the as the top hotel in the world so the top hotel is the the taj rambagh palace which is located in jaipur so why it is important because indian hotel is being ranked globally which indian state has become the first fully e governed state recently as you know that kerala is always ahead because of the literacy rate and all so it is the first fully e governed state recently okay india first market place for fixed deposits launched by whatsapp is named as better ed better ft not ed better ft so what is this fd is for fixed deposit and what is the speciality of this market is india's first markets for fixed deposit launched by whatsapp okay so whatsapp has launched and name is better ft the 22nd summit of shanghai organization cooperation and abbreviation is sco council of head of states which will take place virtually on july 4 2023 this will be chaired by whom it will be chaired by our prime minister and what is the name of this committee shanghai organization cooperation sco under india's first ever chairmanship it is india's first ever chairmanship which is assumed last september 2020 
Now we move to the further uh, our national news. Which union ministry has launched the city beauty competition portal? Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs is the ministry which has launched to encourage and recognize the efforts taken by cities and wards to create beautiful and inclusive public spaces. Okay, friends. So in this may they can ask you the name of the ministry. So Ministry of Housing Affairs is the name. And which union they have launched city beauty competition portal. Okay, moving to the next news. In which state UT the millets millets is uh, very much now being given a lot of patronage to it from the governments. The millets experience center MEC was inaugurated. So this is millet uh, MEC or millet millets experience center was inaugurated at New Delhi. Now we move to the international news. So this was the important uh, uh, national news from the second half of the uh, May month. Okay, so May was uh, uh, now it is June, so it was the previous month, but the second half. So the for the uh, uh, first half, that is from first to fifteen, you can go through the. I will. Uh, uh, you can purchase the magazine or you can go through my videos, which I will be posting later. Now we move to the international news. Where is the fourth edition of Indo India Indonesia bilateral India Indonesia bilateral exercise Samudra Shakti 23 being held in May 23? As I told you, it will be from the news from May. So India India and Indonesia bilateral bilateral means two countries. Where it was held? It was held in Batam, that is in Indonesia. Okay, so you have to remember the name of the place. And it was with which countries also is important. Recently, at which place the 21st meeting of the India Bangladesh Joint Steering Committee (BIJSC) in the power sector was held. It was in organized in Khulna, Bangladesh, which is located in Bangladesh. Okay, so between India and Bangladesh, Joint Steering Committee was organized in Khulna, Bangladesh. Now to the next news. Who has represented India at the 56th annual general meeting of the board of directors of Asian Development Bank, or we call it as ADB, in Incheon in May 2023? So it was represented by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman ji. Okay. So we are, and the board of directors for Asia Development Bank or ADB Bank. Recently, which country was gifted by Indian government? With a fast patrol vessel and a landing craft, India has given gift because, as I told you earlier, that we have to keep good uh, relation with neighbors. So, fast patrol vehicle has been gifted to Maldives by our country. That is, India has given gift to Maldives. The United Nation has awarded three imprisoned women journalists. Of which country on but World Press Freedom Day 2023? So it was this award was given to the journalist, three women journalists of Iran. Okay. Now to the next news. Which rescue operation has been launched by India in Myanmar affected by cyclone Mocha? You know that recently the you see here you can be asked which cyclone affected Myanmar recently. So it is cyclone Mocha. And India launched the operation, Operation Karuna, for rescuing and rescue and relief operation in this cyclone affected country, Myanmar. Which country will host the 49th G7 Group of Seven Summit in 2023? So the name of the city is Hiroshima, Japan. The seven countries of G7, very important group, Group of Seven. Is are the Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and United Kingdom and United Sea, United States. So these are all developed countries, and so this group of seven G7 summit was organized in Hiroshima, Japan. India also got invitation. Why it is so important for us as government job exam aspirant is because. Indian India also got invitation and PM Modi is representing the country. Okay, you must have seen photographs and in news. So G7 summit recently at Hiroshima. Which country is the host of sixth Indian Ocean Conference IOC? Okay. Indian Ocean Conference is uh, which country hosted Dhaka? Dhaka is in Bangladesh. 
participants from 25 countries. The theme of the conference was peace, prosperity and partnership for a resilient future. future. So you can be asked sometimes the theme of also this uh, uh, Indian Ocean Conference, IOC. So the theme was peace, prosperity and partnership for resilient future. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been conferred with the highest civilian honor by which country? See, it is so important because what happens, our Prime Minister is being recognized by some other country. So, which country Prime Minister has been conferred with the highest civilian honor award is Fiji. The com companion of the order of Fiji is the award and Papua New Guinea grand companion of the order of Logau. So, this is the name of the award, but the name of the country is also very important for the question. He received award during his recent vis visit to attend the third India-Pacific Island Cooperation Summit at Papua New Guinea. Okay. Which country has become the world biggest exporter of cars after overtaking Japan? It's a big news. Why? Because Japan uh, is the uh, country which has the uh, biggest exporter of cars. Okay. So, some, some country that is China has overtaken and this China has become the biggest exporter of cars after overtaking Japan. Okay. So, China has become the 76th 76th world health assembly is being held at which place so 76th world health assembly is being organized at geneva the theme is saving lives you have to remember the theme also the saving lives driving health for all okay now we move to the next session which is appointment and persons in news so ashutosh dikshit air marshal has been appointed as the new deputy chief of air staff you can pause my video, can write all this appointment. Praveen Sood appointed as the new director of the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI. Meera Sayal, a renowned actor and writer of Indian origin based in the United Kingdom, has been awarded the BAFTA TV Fellowship in May 2023. Okay, BAFTA TV Fellowship in May. And who has been awarded? Meera Sayal. Manoj Soni, educationist take took oath as the chairman of Union Public Service Commission. So, you can see the photograph is also there. So, chairman of UPSC or Union Public Service Commission is now Mr. Manoj Soni. Tami Rita Sherpa was very much in news because Nepali climber reached to the top of Mount Everest for the 27 times scaled it, that is the height of the Mount Everest, it's 8849 meter. Then N. Chandrasekhar, Tata Group Chairman, has been given France's highest civilian award, Chevalier de la Legion d'Honneur, for his contribution to strengthen the trade relationship between India and France. Okay, so what is the name? Is such a highest France civilian award he has received? So it is Mr. N. Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar. And now we move to the next news. Pramod Bashin appointed as the new chairman of Data Security Council of India. DSCI is an important body and Pramod Bashin has been appointed as the new chairman of the Data Security Council. So now we move to the next section or the same section for the important new, uh, in the person in news. Sida Ramaya elected as the chief minister of Karnataka. Okay. Then next Karnataka election was very recently and he has been appointed as the chief minister. Tori Boy, an American track and field athlete who won the three Olympic medals and two world titles passed away in May. So they can ask you questions like this. Tori Boy, who, uh, who won three Olympic, uh, who, uh, who, has, who, has, uh, who passed away very recently is associated with which field? So you have to say, uh, uh, take the correct answer. Sprinter means athletic. She was associated with athletics. So this is the way of asking question. Recently, she passed away and uh, Tori Boy, what was uh, the field? Uh, what was her field or which she was associated with which field? So you have to select the field. That is the athletics or sports, something like that. Now we move to the next section that is on books and author. Sachin at 50. Sachin recently celebrated his 50th birthday. Sir, 50 celebrating a master of. So, it is written by Borya Majumdar. Sachin at 50 celebrating a master of. Borya Majumdar. 
क्रॉस कोर्ट जयदेव मुखर्जी हैज रिटर्न रिनाउंड टेनिस प्लेयर ऑटोग्राफ ऑटोग्राफ बायोग्राफी सी क्रॉस कोर्ट इज अ शॉट इन टेनिस and that's why the name has been written and so this person is associated with tennis jaydeep mukherjee he has written the book that, that is name is as cross court modi shaping a global order in flux so it is a very important book written on uh, modi ji and it is the author is jp nadda bjp national president okay shaping uh, modi shaping a global order in flux smoke and ashes very important book this type of books are very much as smoke and ashes is written by whom is written by amitabh ghosh the golden years is written by ruskin bond you can see the uh, the different books and their the authors here you can copy it down georgi gospodino uh, don't you know which book that has been translated by angela rodel see two things are there book is written by georgi gospodino and translated by angela rodel has become the first book written in bulgarian to win international booker prize 2023 and the name of the book is also very important time shelter author is georgi gospodino and translated by angela rodel is a first bulgarian to win international booker prize 2023 so now name of the book is time shelter important days as we know the month will be full of important days so i am uh, this is for the second half of the may month 2023 so you will see the dates from the 16 to 31st 16th may was national dengue or dengue day 17th may world hypertension day world telecommunication day both can be asked so world hypertension day was 17th and world telecommunication so any important days we have to remember 18th may international museum day so 18th may is celebrated as international museum day 21st may national anti terrorism day and international tea day there were two days but more important is anti national Terror terrorism day okay 21st may then we move to the world meteorology meteorology day world meteorology day is uh, celebrated on 20th may then 22nd may is international day for biological diversity similarly 31st may world no tobacco day is very important why repeat it again 31st may world no tobacco day now we move to the sports sports see now the days we have observed that lot of questions are being asked from khelo india so we read this news khelo india university games 2022 is being held from may 25 to 3rd of june already held it was um, from may 25 to 3rd of june at which place at uttar pradesh organized in four cities of the state you have to remember all the four cities lucknow gorakhpur varanasi and noida khelo india organized uh, dates are here and it was organized in lucknow gorakhpur varanasi and noida Aditi Ashok became the first female golfer to enter the top 50 in the world ranking after her T5 finish in this LPGA founder. Now Aditi Ashok can be asked she is related to which sports? We have to write it down that she is related to she is related to the uh, Aditi Ashok. Okay. friends there may be a disruption so we'll just see i welcome you back friends so now we move to the next news which indian badminton player won singles title at malaysia masters super 500 see very important so with the name of the player is hs pranoy he defeated china's wen hong yong and which was the the uh, cup it was played for malaysia masters super 500 500 is the point for that competition the player will receive 500 points and the name of the player is hs pranoy he defeated china's player okay which team won ipl 2023 now it's recently this ipl was conducted so which team has won the ipl 2023 chennai super kings lifted their fifth ipl trophy fifth time csk beat which kind uh, which uh, team so it's csk beat gujarat titans by five wickets now some other important things are who won the orange cap orange cap 
in IPL 2023, it was for the most runs. Batsman who made the most of the runs was Suman Gill, who won the purple cap. That is for the most wickets. It was won by Mohammad Sami. So both Indians won this time. Who won the F1 Monaco Grand Prix? Is Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen, maybe pronunciation will be a bit different, but you remember this name. And he is winning many of the F1, that is Formula 1 Grand Prix. Okay, so Formula Formula 1 race or we will say as F1, F1 race. So it is now many times it is won by Max Verstappen. Okay. Who won the Italian Open, also known as Rome Master? This is from tennis tournament. Okay, recently won by Daniel Medvedev. Daniel Medvedev is a tennis player and he recently won the, uh, that is the Rome Masters or also known as Italian Open. But in French Open also has been conducted recently. So the French Open news will be also of importance, which was won by, uh, which is won by uh, Novak Djokovic has won from the men's section and from the women, for the women's uh, tennis in French Open, it has been won by Iga Swatek. Medvedev defeated Holger Rune 7-5, 7-5 in the final in 2023. In women's singles, Elena Rybakina won the tournament. Okay, friends. So, this is from the sports. Now, we move to the economy and banking news. The legal entity identifier 20-digit LEE system was launched by which organization? CAB has launched this for issue, issuers that have been listed or are planning to list non-convertible securities scrutinized debt instrument and security discipline. See, all things are uh, related to security. So, it has to be SEBI. Very simple. Which bank has reported a net profit of rupees 50,000 crore for the financial year 2023? 50,000 crore is huge profit. It can be only by the India's largest public sector lender, that is largest public sector bank, SBI. According to the Morgan and Stanley, India is contributing how much percent of the global gross domestic product. We are contributing 16% of the GDP of the world. Okay. Which mutual fund house has been launching India's first defense fund recently? HDFC mutual fund or HDFC defense fund as, as we call it. How many dividend, uh, dividend RBI board has approved to the transfer to government for the year? See, now the RBI has been transferring. So, this year it has been for the last financial year, that is financial year 2022-23, 87,416 crore has been transferred. You can see the graph also. It was very high in the financial year 19, but this time also it is substantially higher. Okay. How much India's GDP crossed in 2022 according to the Moody's report? It crossed the three USD 3.5 trillion mark. And now, see, we have uh, overtaken United Kingdom and we are the fifth largest GDP, right, in terms of GDP, fifth largest economy. So, this is a very important news. We crossed 3.5 trillion. India's forest reserves at comfortable level due to RBI dollar economist. Okay, India's forex reserve reached to a 10 month high of 588.8 billion in the week through April 28, recovering from a drop of 524.5 billion last October when the rupee hit a record low against the US dollar. Okay, we move to the next. You can write down your short notes from here and we move to the next news. Piyush Goel in Canada. Okay, Union Minister discussed bilateral trade between India, Canada, Union Com Commerce and Industry Ministry. Piyush Goel discussed the early progress trade agreement between India and Canada with his Canadian counterpart, Mary NG. The two also co-chaired the 6th Indian-Canada Ministerial Dialogue and trade. Okay, investment. This agreement may cover non-conventional areas like SMEs, trade and gender environment and labor. Not very much important, but you can still write it if you are finding it important for your examination. Common GST audit norms for center and states from this fiscal. To help businesses as well as reduce litigation, a model All India GST Audit Manual 2023 has been finalized for the use by which sent by the center and state tax official. It has suggested a common platform for sharing important audit findings and other sources of relevant information to improve the quality and efficiency of audit. So, for this is related to the efficiency of audit, auditing. 
This is an article. I am not reading the full article. This is article Utkarsh to RBI strategies framework and key points. So you can uh, you know that Utkarsh is the RBI strategy framework. And uh, this has come very recently. So you can go through internet, browse through internet and go through this. Utkarsh 2 has six vision statement. Very fastly I read it. Excellence in the first vision one is excellence in the, in the performance of its function. Strengthen trust of citizens and uh, institutions in the Reserve Bank of India. Enhanced relevance and significance in national and global roles. Vision 4 is transparent, accountable and ethics driven internal, internal governance. Vision 5, best in class and environment friendly digital and physical infrastructure. Okay, we move to the some important banking terms. This is important friends. This will be asked in many of the uh, this thing in the examination. Reserve Bank of India, the central banking institution of India responsible for regulating and controlling the country's monetary policy. You need to know which are which uh, currency is issued by uh, Ministry of Finance. That is one rupee. All other currencies are issued by RBI. Okay. What are non-performing asset or NPA? A loan or advance for which the principal or interest. You don't receive the principal or interest for ninety days or more. Okay. So it is termed as it is a banking term. It is termed as non-performing asset or NPA. Credit rating. Before giving loan, the bank see for your after credit rating ko khol ke wo dekhte hai. So an evaluation of the credit worthiness of individuals, companies or countries assessing their ability to repay. Kyo? Kyoki loan dete same if they are giving you with loan, they want the repayment. Otherwise, it will become the previous thing. That is the non-performing assets. So kya karte wo aapka credit rating dekhte hai. Okay, fixed deposits, a financial instrument offered by banks where funds are deposited for a fixed period and generally its pay interest rate is higher than the, any other type of deposits. Current account, a type of bank account used for frequent and regular transaction. It usually does not earn interest and may have certain. See, current account is for the business people. What happens? Unka current account rahega, to they can do a number of deposits and they can take, take out the amount also. Savings account, as you all know, there's nothing to read much because savings accounts, we, we all, all are opening. It is a bank account, as we understand. A bank account designed for individuals to deposit and save money. So this is for individual, current account is for business people. Know your customer, KYC. KYC means in banking parlance, this can be asked. So KYC is know, know your customer. A regulatory process, banks and financial institution must follow to verify and identify the address of their customer. Means they need to identify is the customer genuine or fake. Base rate, very important term. The minimum rate of interest set by the Reserve Bank of India. These are all monetary policy things. Base rate, the minimum rate of interest set by the Reserve Bank of India below which banks are not allowed to lend to customer. Up to that point, they can do. But beyond, lower than that, they cannot. Cash reserve ratio or we called it as CRR. Again, a monetary instrument. The portion of bank's total deposit that it must keep with RBI as a reserve. Why? Suppose uh, CRR is 7% or 4%. So that type of money has to be kept by the banks in RBI so that they do not default in the time of payment is being asked. Suppose if you have a payment, lene ka koi aa rahe hai, they, can, they should be in a position to pay. Okay, these are all monetary terms policy, repo rate. The rate at which the RBI lends money to commercial banks to meet their short-term liquidity needs. Not much to explain. Reverse repo rate is this. The rate at which RBI borrows. First is repo rate at which RBI lends. Reverse repo is the rate at which RBI borrows money from the commercial banks, absorbing excess liquidity from the banking system. So this is the, as I told, tools for monetary regulation. So if the bank will, uh, RBI will take, then the liquidity in the society will decrease and the things which are desirable will happen for the RBI. Inflation, the rate at which now the prices are rising, that is inflation. The rate at which the general price level of goods and service in an economy is increased over a specific period, reducing the purchasing power of the monies. Okay, now we move to the other. That is gross domestic product, the total value of goods and services produced within a country. We are saying that India is now the fifth largest uh, economy in the world in terms of GDP. So this is the total of goods and services. Means goods will be also included and the services are also included in it. 
So a total of that is DDP. Core banking solution, CBS, full form can be asked. A banking technology platform that enables bank to offer their customers centralized and integrated banking or services across multiple branches. ATM is now very old, so I'm not reading it. Now this, see, there is an important information. This is the, the website, uh, Testini app and website for computer best taste taking. As you know, SSE, all the exams, aajkal kya hota hai? it is on the computer, computer based test. Ho rahe. So you have to practice for that. So this is the website. Okay, friends. And YouTube, this is the YouTube link of where I am giving you all the preparation that is from, it starts from quantitative aptitude to the reasoning ability to English and current affairs and general awareness classes. So I promise to you friends that you will be uh, entering to your examination very confidently if you are uh, watching my video in full. So friends, I thank you for my this session and I put a end over this session and we will meet in the next session tomorrow. And if you are interested in purchasing this bi-monthly magazine, you can see this bi-monthly magazine is for rupees 20. So in a month, you will get two issues, 20 plus 20, 40 rupees. Very useful, very handy. You can brush your general awareness in the last moment by going through this magazine. I will give you the link for how to purchase the uh, link. WhatsApp link will be there. So you can purchase or you can read through my video by pausing it and writing your own notes. Once again, thank you and good luck, friends. We are putting an end over here.